when you see the agony of defeat and never the thrill of victory. Well, you get hilarious sports blooper maniacs. This program. Where basketball star Kenny Skywalker races a horse. Where the basketball never bounces. Where golfers goof. Wrestlers spoof. Kickboxers hang loose. Settle back for the foolish, funny, fantastic world of great sports having a bad day. Now in baseball, this really is agony of defeat. In Denver, a sprinkler system throws the pitcher a changeup. Giving new meaning to the phrase, a wet one. While early win ignores the ultra slim fast diet in his comeback, nice slide. And now for the birds. It's up. It's way back. It might be. It could be. It is off the wall. Here are some novel approaches to baseball, confusing the catcher by sending two runners home at the same time and using your face to shield line drives. You get the idea. Baseball is the national pastime, and so is enjoying the wacky world of baseball blunders. Football is sort of like baseball. Sometimes you just have to follow the bouncing ball. In basketball, this play upholds the old adage, no compound fracture, no foul. In fact, many times it should be called basket brawl.
Diving is another sport newly incorporated in the game. Here's a synchronized dive. While the slam dunk is a great shot, it's not always a sure thing. Now this is what you call ball handling. This is known as boxing out in the lane. And these guys are giving new meaning to the basketball skill formerly known as dribbling. The fine art of shooting the basketball can also sometimes be a bit harder than it appears in the highlight films. All in all, basketball can often supply some of the craziest, wackiest moments in sports. In the sports business, sometimes you have to put up with a lot of bull. And even when you're horsing around, you can have a really bad day. On LSC, that's promenade left, promenade right, goes to go to the... Uh, well, you know, Tex, maybe next time I'll try this on the horse. Even in the gentlemanly sport of polo, sometimes the horse can end up trying to ride you. And diving from the horse is a technique not often tried, for obvious reasons. Now here's a man who needs a lifetime supply of Preparation H. While this guy is trying to perfect his face in the fence move. And yet another tries the new front dismount technique. You know, some old jockey habits die hard.
Horsing around can be a lot of fun. While some bulls get to seek revenge on their riders, just don't let the bull throw you. Perhaps the sport that has resulted in more curse words uttered by the weekend athlete is golf. Where even a sailor can sometimes pick up a few new words for his vocabulary. Sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards. While other times you just pick off your shoes and relax. Here's the advantage of giving your brother-in-law three tickets to see you play. But after you kick off the shoes, you have to go in the water and you have to figure out what to do. Hmm, let's see. Now uh, you could always use the water. Let's see. Pitch out of the water, let it run. Maybe even try a Jimmy Swagger shot. Yes, the ball can walk on water, can it? But moving a tree is a different matter. Sometimes the best made plans have to be altered. And praying is often a good idea while on the links. Being a clown, however, is frowned upon. And here's the newest fad in golf, the removable driver head. It's sure to catch on when golfing with your mother-in-law. Water sports are often a great way to relax, but not always. Jet skiing is a new and exciting fad for the water sportsmen. Some even use their head while negotiating jumps, while others simply let their natural talents come to the surface. Boating is another fun sport, although slamming into land is not recommended. Now here's a guy that's head over heels about boat racing. When in the ring, it is often recommended that you have some experience and skills However, that is not always the case, and some boxers need a refresher course. For example, always try to remain standing.
Kicking is not allowed. Rope burns on your back are a sure sign you're in the wrong sport. Sitting on the ropes is not a good idea. And tackling your opponent won't win you the belt. Now don't hit here, and certainly not there. Now there's a left-right combination. And none of these moves can be found in the Spalding Guide. If Attila the Hun were into sports, I'm sure he would have enjoyed lacrosse. While hockey seems to be some guy's idea of a fun way to inflict pain while traveling 35 miles an hour on skates. And speaking of skates, a fun night on the bank track of the roller derby is a great idea if you feel you simply have too many teeth. Looking for some winter fun? How about a nice safe trip down the hill on an inner tube? No problem, right? Skiing is always a fun way to rearrange your skeletal system. Trying the ski jumps for the first time is also a way to impress the girls, provided they get turned on by the distinctive aroma of the emergency room. Fumble! Ow, oh, I missed it! Yes, sports can be crazy.
best made plans can come tumbling down. I'm Tim Brando, and I hope that you've enjoyed this lighthearted and sometimes lightheaded look into the crazy things that happen in sports. Stop. Uh -huh.